Closer to home, after decades of conflict between the communities in Northern Ireland, the Good Friday Agreement was signed in 1998, and it led to new institutions and more cooperation between Northern Ireland, Great Britain, and the Irish Republic. And one of those new institutions was the British Irish Council, uh, formed to promote mutually beneficial development of relationships amongst the people of the British Islands. Uh, and we are part of that process. Of course, sometimes looking uh, to the uh, wider uh, world, uh, we see that we in Jersey, of course, don't face those terrible conflicts which are uh, suffered elsewhere. But that doesn't mean to say that we can't play our part in global initiatives. We all need to play our part, I believe, in making ethical choices. Uh, an example of which for us here in Jersey is a choice to support fair trade. Uh, and we in government endorse uh, the Fair Trade Island commitment originally given by the states in 2004. Uh, and I'm pleased that from our small island we can be part of a much bigger movement that changes people's lives. We can also look at the Rotary Club for an initiative which seeks to bring people together to make ethical choices. Ethical choices that are easier to make if there is a community-wide support for certain key principles. Peace the world over is a hope voiced by millions of rota Rotarians every week at the end of each of their club meeting. And to help make this become a sustainable reality, the Rotary International has pursued a peace programme for the last decade. Uh, and Jersey Rotary uh, is part of uh, that programme and they've organised peace for forums for the last two years and we hope that Jersey uh, will be recognised as a peace uh, community in the future. But I think I raise that issue because of the principles uh, that the Rotary Peace Programme uh, abide by. And they are respect for the life and dignity of every person without discrimination or prejudice. Rejection of violence in all forms and towards all people. Resolution of conflict among people within local and global communities reconciliation of differences and the pursuit of harmony, freedom of expression and cultural uh, diversity. Uh, and I think that uh, is a good code uh, for us to consider. Of course I know that some, and I think probably uh, during the course of some of your uh, chair conversations, you've questioned whether we can haste an ethical financial services industry uh, in our midst. Uh, and my view to that is uh, that we can. Uh, last July I made a statement on abusive tax planning. This is the kind of planning that may be legal, but it is undesirable, not least for its adverse effect on the island's <coughs> reputation as a quality finance centre. And in my statement then I made it clear that Jersey's government supports fair tax competition, uh, and we view legitimate tax planning as an appropriate response to operating across borders. That is part of the free market economy. However, we do not support activities that go beyond legitimate tax planning for commercial purposes. We do not want our service providers to host abusive tax schemes designed to frustrate the will of other national parliaments. All businesses should have a code of good practice. And in support of my statement last July, Jersey Finance Limited issued guidance to its member firms. They said that it was expected that members should agree to comply with the guidance. That guidance called on members to act lawfully and with integrity, expecting the same from their employees and clients and other parties with whom they interact. As a government, we can make ethical choices about the standards we set for the island's financial service providers we can decide to exchange information with other jurisdictions. And as global standards develop, we can agree to keep pace with them. Uh, and you know we've signed automatic exchange agreements uh, with the UK, uh, and we were one of 40 early adopters uh, signing up to the OECD Common Reporting Standard on automatic exchange. These commitments to transparency are evidence not only of our policy of fully complying with all relevant international standards, but also uh, our acceptance that no man is an island and that there is a need to serve the interests of the community of nations. We do that, though, 
Uh, we do, uh, though, also need to remember that there is in politics uh, that sometimes dirty word, compromise. We host an industry that funds the majority of our public services and we want it to thrive. And we also want to demonstrate to both the local community and the outside world that we are determined to operate ethically in the world of global finance. People point out to me that ethics, like morality, may mean different things to different uh, people. And we just had the starting of the conversation prior to my uh, standing here about how difficult it is uh, to use that term uh, and what it might mean uh, from one person uh, to another, the concept of right and wrong. And there are various definitions we could use, guided by a code of conduct, acting with integrity, having a moral code, moral principles that govern a person's behaviour, living your life with high values. Uh, they are examples of what I've heard. But for me, our history, our traditions, our society is based upon the Judeo-Christian traditions and we read in Mark 12, uh, interestingly, uh, probably uh, in the earlier uh, sections of that chapter, it was political engagement. Uh, those asking the questions were asking political questions and trying to uh, trip Jesus up. But when Jesus was asked which of all the commandments is the greatest, he replied, the most important commandment is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is the one and only Lord. And you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, and all your strength. The second is equally important. Love your neighbour as yourself. No other commandment is greater than these. <coughs> 